Well, there's been plenty of torpedoing of the opposition by the Yellow Submarine, as the home side are known, here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon, and we've got Champions League group stage fair on the menu. It's Sporting, and they face PSV. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays yeah most coaches are adopting this formation what it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker well really in this great competition there's been continuity since season 2003-2004 the same format remember there used to be a second group stage once upon a time Lee well it did and simply it didn't work I think the, uh, the the format now is certainly a lot better it's a bit more exciting a bit earlier in the competition it seemed to drag on a bit that second phase didn't it I look then at the starting 11 we're thinking 4-3-3 yeah one central striker Derek the width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide a very narrow midfield and a conventional back four It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. And Ristovsky has it. Well, that's not watertight defending. The tackle crisp and accurate. And a no-nonsense clearance. It's with Bergwijn. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. For a counter to succeed, it has to happen at lightning pace. It didn't. And a good-looking ball. And touched onto the frame of the goal. And they deal with the threat this time. And now with Angelino. And scope for them to produce something exciting. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Well, the counter chance was there, but no more. Now, what can he do here? Well, goalkeepers will sometimes make it look more spectacular than it needs to be. Well, he made a massive meal of that one, didn't he? They've decided to go for the short option clattered away and there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here well we know how much of a nuisance he can be to opposing players but what should we anticipate seeing from him tonight Lee well if I'm a teammate of this lad I want to get the ball to him as often as I can because he's a safe pair of hands give him the ball normally something happens the link-up play between the different departments of the team is second to none Let's see what he has in store for them. Attending to his defensive chores. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Pataglia. Bruno Fernandes. Well, can he make this move count? They've lost it. And the defender takes care of business. Pereiro. Oh. 
So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. And given away. Rafinha. Bataglia. It's with Schwab. Marcos Acuna. An abundance of space. Is he going to punish them here? It might be the moment to get them ahead. And a goal it is. The opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. And the goal that was scored, well worth another look, Lee. Here is Nani. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. It's with Schwab. It's with Irving Lozano. Effective challenge. Bruno Fernandes has it. It's with Bergwijn. No worries for the keeper. Marcos Acuna. Jeremy Mathieu. Here's Marcos Acuna. Angelino. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Will there be a tangible... Oh, he's knocking on the door! They won't complain about having won the corner, and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. a genuine threat here now what can he do here well, let's see what he has in store for them and clears his lines the ball with Montero oh that's an interesting pass it'll be a corner Now the delivery. Now he must favour the cross. Pereiro. Jeremy Mathieu. Given away. Stefan Ristovsky. Bruno Fernandes has it. Promising-looking ball. Oh, can he make this move count? And cleared away. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed out. Is he going to punish them here? He's given it away. Hendricks has it. 
Angelino. Jorit Hendricks. Pablo Rosario has it. Now well, let's see, does he mean business? And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And behind it's gone for a corner. And a deep ball in. Crossing opportunity. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And he's pulled it back here. And here's Gaston Pereiro. Bruno Fernandes has it. Lozano now. He had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back. Pereiro, Pablo Rosario. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Marcos Acuna. Nani. Tremendous block. And now with Angelino. And the ball's gone. Here's Rafinha. Pablo Rosario has it. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Jorit Hendricks, Pablo Rosario. Rafinha. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a wonderful save. All types of save keepers make, but that's really important. Look how close the striker gets. And he's fired over the corner. And in it goes! The perfect header! Exactly what they were looking for. Well, we're going to see that again and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this headed goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Over the touchline for a throw in. Daniel Schwab. Pablo Rosario has it. They've given it away. Daniel Schwab. Let's see what he has in store for them. Will there be a tangible end product? Bataglia. Here's Rafinha. Goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Coates. Oh, regaining possession for his side cleverly. And here's Gaston Pereiro. Here's Rafinha. Bataglia, and Ristovski has it, Pereiro, 
Rafinha. And Nani with it. And give it away. And the defender takes care of business. High pressing at its best. PSV have given it away. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Crossed into the penalty area. Great chance with that header. But he sent it wide of the post. Well, it's quite easy to head that one over the bar. This time he just gets his angles wrong. Just past the post. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Fielkeber. And here's Gaston Pereiro. Lozano now. Real chance. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. Well, 2-1 it is here. The ball with Sebastian Coates. Given away. Here's Bataglia. And fed forwards. Well, can he make this move count? Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. So, 20 minutes to go. Stefan Ristovsky. Showing a real commitment to passing the ball forward. But now, let's see what comes next. And whipped into the box. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross and he gets up well. And it's just wide. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Nani on the ball is Mathieu Luc de Jong he has plenty of support not too fussy in clearing his lines now what can he do here Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. And on the ball, Fielkeber. Jorit Hendricks. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Terrific block there. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Ramzalar. Here's Bataglia. 
Jeremy Mathieu. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Well, visionary passing. Well, he has just veered into an offside position this time. And a substitution in the offing. Trying to get right into his face. Luke de Jong. It is a decent looking attack here. It's there for him. And in it goes. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. And well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Here is Nani. Jeremy Mathieu. Nani. On the ball is Mathieu. And Ristovsky has it. Now Baz Dost. Bataglia. Marcos Acuna. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Targets available. Cross comes in. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. And Nani with it. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Opportunity it is. And he's dispatched the header. Well, we're going to see that again, and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it. And then watch this headed goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. So full time it is, and a morale boosting. Three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek. Bit of a cliche.